outside Belmont Park in the background here at Mission Beach. It's the Miller Lite. San Diego Open. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland getting ready for a Kong frontation. Yeah, you heard it, Kong frontation. Karch Garayan, Kent Steffes, Sinjin Smith, and Randy Stoklaw. As the crowd is huge, the biggest crowd of the year, we think, getting set for what should be a very interesting game. Smith and Stokos have to win this game, then there would be a double final, one to seven. A couple of teams that really don't like each other that much, wouldn't you say? Well, they're vying for the number one spot. Kirai and Steffes are, are, in my opinion, on the verge of taking away the crown from one of these gentlemen, Sinjin Smith, Randy Stokos, the winningest player of all time, 132 career victories, former All-American from UCLA, the winningest player of all time. And here we go, Smith starting it off. King should be fairly fresh. So are Steffes and Karai. Steffes and Karai, however, have a very uh, ardent history of starting off very slow in these finals. We'll see if that holds up. Well, I think they're an improving team. I think their chemistry is really coming together. Only their fifth tournament together. Kent Steffes still attending UCLA, finishing up his degree, only 23 years of age. And probably the hottest young property to come on the Pro Beach Tour in a long time. He, along with Adam Johnson. Working on Stokos right away. Yeah, it's hard to reject it back. Okay, Chris, this is a very, very important match for both these teams. I think if Kirai and Steffes come out and win this tournament, they will clearly become the dominant team on the Pro Beach Tour now and for the foreseeable future. On the other hand, Sinjin Smith, Randy Stokelos, we've chronicled over and over again the problems they've had over the last year and a half, winning only three of 18. They need to put an end to the bleeding right now, and Randy Stokelos can do that if he blocks as well in the finals as he did in the semifinals when he had four or five big stuff blocks. Steffes, and he taps it off, Randy Stoklo. So, Karch Karai and Kent Steffes, let's identify them for you. Karch, yellow hat, speedo top, white. 6'2", 200, 31 years old now, 45 career one wins, three out of four, and if he hadn't have cramped in the other one, he might have got that one. That one went to Frohoff and Whitmars. So here comes Stoklos, trailing one to nothing. And that ball hit out of bounds now, two to nothing. In the finals of the winner's bracket, when these two teams met earlier in the tournament, Kirai and Steffes were victorious. But uh, really the key was the blocking of uh, Kent Steffes. He just was tremendous early in the match, setting the tone. We talked about there'll be a lot of pressure on Karts and Kent, and they're responding to it. Stoklos digging it out. Right back at you. Stoklos. That one was thumbed up there a little bit. Little tip, and it goes. And Karts and Kent mad at the ref. Greg Krause is our first referee. John Featherstone, our umpire today. Randy Stokos handed the, handled the ball twice in this rally. Overhand. And no call was made. There's Karch complaining to the referee. And Randy's going, come on, let's just play ball. Handled, handled the ball twice overhand. Both of them came out with no spin. Second one kind of lounged in well, there. It was, it was ugly. It was ugly, but came out cleanly. Greg Krause is our first referee. Little Johnny Featherstone, our umpire. Still close against Card. Oh, and he booms one past the Golden Boy. So Stoklos may be the key today for Smith Stoklos. He's going to get a lot of serves. The question is, can he put the ball away and can he block? Three and six in the last nine. 14 and three before that. But uh, that coincidentally coincides, if you can say that, as he returns no, to the right. Steffes, dug, over, and in! Smith with it in! They're jacked, they're jacked up! They know how important this match is. They've been fighting between themselves. They've been fighting the opposition. Right into Smith's pecs, into his chest, and there for the score. Pecorillo for a point. Two to one, Karai and Steffes. Steffes taking a look, Stokey. That's that chance for Smith and Stoklos. Could be a point to tie it up at two. Stoklos. Oh, he's rejected. And Karch and Kent are into it. Marlon and Sunderland are into it. <laughs> I told you this was going to be the match of the summer so far. Smith and Stoklos trying not to get buried by the new number one seed, Kirai and Steffes. Karch to serve. 2-1, Karai and Steffes. Oops, 
serving Stokelos, but not very tough. Tight set, tight set, and he pops it through Kent. He wiggles it up, and then they collide. So very, very tight set. Stokelos did a good job. Looks like he's just trying to blast Kent's hands off when he's up there. Well, Randy Stokelos never likes to get stuff. This one squeaks through, and Karch has got a shot at this ball. Steph has no idea that Karch is behind him trying to make a play. Not a bad cross body block that time by Karch Kiras. Got the beefy guys out here now. Steph is 6'4", 210, Karch 6'3", about 205, Stokey 220. And Smith playing with two knee pads today. He's got that hurt right knee. There it is. And Steph has chops it right in the bottom of the net. So Smith and Stokelos high at two. That's the kind of mistake we used to see from Kent Stephenson. He had virtually eliminated from his game the last month. Maybe feeling the pressure. Very jacked up all four players at the beginning of this match. They're working on Stephens. And Stephens goes over the top. So Smith and Stokelos appearing to want to work on Stephens right there. Steffes, the number one player in the game, finalist for the ninth time in 10 tourneys this year, the leading money winner on the tour. Sports Illustrated here doing a, uh, a column on him, or a story, I should say, on him. Smith? Come on, come on. Back to Stoklos. Cut back. Oh, and Kurt got it. And Stoklos saying to Smith, get me higher, get me higher. And Chirai knows that Randy Stoklos pulling the ball across his body out of the middle. These teams are jacked, and so is the crowd. We're coming back to San Diego after this. Three, two is our score. We'll take a short moment. Player digs coming at you. Who would you vote for for president? This is what the players said. What Roger doesn't realize is that I take Sunday with me as my vice president. I don't leave Sunday here when I'm not here. No. Would to, that be a scary thought? Not to do the stuff without me, no way. 8.23 to play. Although this game. might be a big improvement over <laughs> Quail. <laughs> I hope you would be. 3-2 to two is our score. Karai and Stevens have a one-point lead over Smith and Stoklos. Good action so far. Overcast skies and a lot of wind right now and a lot of good volleyball. Nice dig by Stephens. Stoklos coming in and he pounds it off. Karch out of bounds. Really a uh, stake in the sand for the Kings of the Beach right here, Paul. They have to do it. Coming in off the Pacific, off of beautiful Mission Bay, an overcast day. You can see people bundled up at the top of the grandstands, but the wind blowing probably about uh, 8 to 10 knots. So far, really not a big effect on play. Randy Stokos jump serving into that wind. Going again. Get again. And Stokos! Boy, they are really going for it. That one couldn't come right back up. And the side out to Stephas and Karai. Two years ago, Paul, remember the same situation. Cry and throw off and won four in a row. We were talking about the changing of the guard on the beach. Then came that rainy day in Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Wisconsin. Karch and Frohoff were leading 9-5 in the first 15-pointer and lost. Then they're leading 4-1 in the seven-pointer. And Smith and Stokos came all the way back and beat them. For the rest of the summer, the Kings were still the Kings. Turned the season around. Yeah. And Thanks. that's why I think that this is sort of a watershed matchup for both these teams. Karai and Stephas can say we are firmly the number one team out on the beach. Everybody vying for our position. And then Smith and Stokos continue with the question mark. If Smith and Stokos turn it around and win, they're right back in the mix the rest of the summer. Stokos with the ball. Side out. So, Sinjin Smith will have the ball. Sinjin Smith used to play with Karch Karai. They won two world championships. They've won here in San Diego together before. They certainly have. They're on the trophy. Smith. Boy, that ball was out of bounds. Karch took it anyway. And he whapped down the line. So, KK with a little tap shot. Kirai now just rounding into shape. Uh, fifth week out on the Pro Beach Tour after coming back from Italy. And I think his game improving. Not a bad stretch over the last 14 tournaments. He'll position himself at the net. Sinjin. And out of the reach of Park. So Sinjin getting some serves. Stokelos getting some serves. 3-2 to two is our score. No real strategy right now emerging, although it does seem that uh, Smith and Stokos would rather be serving uh, Kent Steffes rather than Karch Kirai. Right now, Steffes has received seven, make it eight. Kirai only one serve. He's passing that well, and he just got that by Stokos. 
Season series between these two teams, five, nothing. One of those a default. Uh, Stoklos injured, had to drop out of the finals of the tournament in Austin. So they have played other times, but not in the finals. So this is the first time this year. Played last week, Kirai and Steffes played Smith and Stoklos, knocked them out first thing in the morning last weekend in Fort Worth, Texas, to put them in ninth place. Good serve. Kirai digs it out. That's a great shot. Beautiful shot. Smith appears to be hitting his jump serve much, much hard. Much, much harder, I should say. Good patience. That's years and years of experience, and every good player knows you come out, you test the tension on the net. When the ball goes into the net, you just have to get down low and be ready. So close. No, okay. And he hit it out of bounds. No touch. That's a point for Karch and Kent. So, to so close, perhaps trying to hit the hands, could not. Randy just going high and hard, and, and both Kirai and Steffes, very, very good blockers right now. It used not to be a strength of Kent Steffes, but I think that's a big area of improvement for him so far this year. And Stokelow taps one on the cut shot. He had worked that so perfectly in our semifinal. Could not clear the net that time, so a couple of quick points given up by the Kings. Back-to-back -back unforced errors, and as much as Smith and Stoklos have been struggling, a shot like this, just two inches too low, hits the top of the tape and drops down. Start wondering about their confidence. The Stoklos got to put this one away. They trail 5-2. Stoklos, and he punches it off Karch. That was a huge side out. Kent Steffes feeling an early momentum charge for his team, going for the tough cross-court jump serve. Stokos not with a great pass, but Smith with a very good set. Stokos with a kill. Seven minutes, 16 seconds to go. 5-2, Karai and Steffes. Another bad pass by Steffes, and Cart can't dig that one out. So the Kings, I think, have the right strategy right now. It appears Steffes uh, performing inconsistently, and they're on it. Well, he had been solid as a rock. That is Kent Steffes for the last two or three weeks receiving serve, but already he shanked a couple early. He's got to settle down. So Steffes looking for the serve on oh, so close. Good serve again. There it is. And off so close. And Smith couldn't get there. What a difference. The weather and the freshness of the team. Last week, Paul, they were moving in slow motion. This week, it's like 45 or 88. Yeah, yeah the whole pace of the competition in Fort Worth, Texas last week, where we were kind of blessed with relatively cool weather. It was only in the low 80s for Fort Worth and low humidity. But uh, we come back to Southern California, very dry, cool, and uh, play just moves right along. So Stoklos gets the kill. We should remind you that Killer Loop Sunglasses by Bausch & Lomb, the official sunglasses of the AVP, is pleased to present this week's Killer Loop Kill Award. And one of these four players will receive $500 from Bausch & Lomb for his killer performance. Go, 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 go. Oh, a part detonation! The explosion into the crowd. We're coming back. We welcome you back. Two minutes and 37 seconds left in this game. One of the best finals so far of the summer. Smith and Stokos 11, Brian Steffes 9. Smith and Stokos scoring all five on the good side. I think that is the good side now, don't you think? It's the good side, which uh, Steffes and Kirai now occupy. And Smith and Stokos on an 8-2 run against Kirai and Steffes right now. Steffes blocked by Stokos. Steffes poking over the top. Another play by Carson Steffes. Steffes got to get into this match. He seems to be getting very tentative, uh, a little overwhelmed right now by the blocking of Randy Stokos. Not the same aggressive, confident player we've seen three out of the last four weeks. Karch jump serving, his team trailing by two. Smith, back over, and he pounds it down the line at Steffes. Hit that retreating blocker in the net. Tough play to make defensively. Once you decide to fake block as Kent Steffes did there, you've got to take a huge step and get back in defensive posture because the offensive player is coming right at your head. Smith has played brilliantly in this final so far, defensively. Kent. And tapping it over that time. Steffes all the shots now. He's got the line shot, great touch shot, booming hard angle. And so he will serve. 11 to 9, Smith still close. Come on, ben. Yeah, yeah, 
Steffes can't negotiate it. Serving error number five for Kent Steffes. Any aces there? He has, Steffes has an ace to go along with those five errors. See the errors for Steffes. Smith and Stokos keeping the ball in more. We'll try Steffes again. Smith, great dig. Chance to score. No, Steffes digs it. Cards chasing. Steffes. What a great set by Karch Kirai. Super dig by Kent Steffes. What a rally. Back and forth. Smith is just right in sync with Kent Steffes. Everywhere he hits the ball, Smith is there and vice versa. Steffes learning his defense very, very well now, too. Karch. Oh, it's just out of the reach of Karch. One thing that Smith does so well, when he shoots the ball, it's usually to the back one or two feet of the court or near the line. If that ball's two feet shorter, Karai's all over it for a point-scoring opportunity. Instead, impossible shot to get to. Two-point lead for Smith, still close. Now we're under two minutes. Smith gobbling. Still close. Ooh, that was close to a toss. Didn't get a call. Smith. Whoa, that was a strange, strange play. And Karai giving the stink eye right now to Greg Krause. Hey, deservedly so. You know, Randy throws about five balls a summer, and that was one of them right there. That was a real, as we call, a chuck. Randy, such beautiful hands. Well, the ball just changed direction on him. It's still very difficult to tell in the replay, but he just corkscrewed up the, under that one and gaffed it up there. Could have been another point for Smith Stokos. They couldn't get it. Stokos with another dig. Boy, he's digging well. Stokos poking into the open area. Smith Stokos has been fired up since the opening serve. They've been making the plays that they had not in the past. Stokos has been blocking Sinjin Smith, playing super defense. Smith now with 10 digs. Randy Stoklos only with one stuff block, but been deflecting many. Minute 36 to go. Steffes pounds it down the line. So the clock definitely coming into play now. Smith and Stoklos trying to hang on to their two-point lead and get it to the double final. One thirty-three. Karch. Not jump serving that tough and getting the ball more to Smith right now. Nice. That ball. Excellent reach out by Kent Steffes. Smith trying to go down the line. Take advantage of the outside hand of Kent Steffes there with his left hand raised, maybe reminding himself to be strong with that hand. Reaches out, stuffs the ball. Looked kind of like a hitting error to me for Sinjin Smith. Hit it right into him. 11 to 10 and Karch misses. Make the most of your opportunities over here, Paul. Absolutely. You got a gale in your face. That's where Smith and Stokelos really got the lead. They're on the good side, or were on the good side. They scored, scored all five points from the good side. Smith. His team ahead by one. Oh, and he serves it. Yeah, he can't call it an ace because it parts in the side. He grabbed it, but that's a service winner for St. Jim Smith. Up the middle. No communication here. Who moves for the ball first? Karch reaches a little. You take it. I've got it. Got to communicate on that deep ball. 12 10. No Karch pull one up. No call. Ball pops out of bounds. And Stokos and Smith get another point. So Greg Krause calling it the same way, both ways. And uh, you chuck, I chuck, we yeah. all chuck. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. As long as you're chucking for both sides. Smith and Stokos. Air number six. 13 to 10, minute 20 to go, and Karch and Kent take time out. Six unforced errors by Kent Steffes. He's not received the ball well. He's been hitting the ball out of bounds and is not the same player we have seen over the last three or four weeks. And once again, and this is especially for Gary Vanderwist. Tina Rulebook, $7, stamp 5 by 7 ABC, 100 corporate point, Suite 195, Culver City, California, 902. 230. Make your check payable to the AV. We have to send him a t-shirt now? All right, we will. Gary Vanderwist. Good letter from Gary. Asked about the mailbag and some of the action, some of the comments, and very, very well done. We'll take him into advisement. So Kent Steffes comes back out. He said he wanted to hear more of the arguments. Well, he's getting his fill he's today. Getting his, fill. getting his fill right now. He says he loves it when our cameras get right in the players' faces, when they're giving each other and the referees get. Oh, 
Riley Shank one out of bounds over Smith. It's 14 to 10. So Smith loving it. He has served what, two winners here, Paul. What will this do for the waning confidence of Sinjin Smith and Randy Stokoe? Surprised that Karayan's deficit not called a timeout during this entire stretch. Karayan. I don't think they've used it. Karayan's deficit led 9-6. Where has it gone for the game? March puts it away. Minute 12 to play. Steffes has not been serving well throughout the course of this match. He had an ace early. He's had several errors after that five all told. Well, right now, he needs to get back to his winning ways early in the match. Dial up an ace. Come on, get up there. In between the shuttles, that's trouble. Smith, Steffes, chance for a point here. They go block. Oh, Smith, another great dig. Smith, not yet. Coming back to Stokey. Oh! Seven seconds left to play. 14 to 11. Smith and Stokos. We're back at Mariner's Point, the Miller Lite San Diego Open. The win still a factor as Smith and Stokos go over to the good side now. Brian Steffes had a 9-6 lead, but now Smith and Stokos ahead 14-11. And the man who's been doing it, Sinjin Smith. Defensively, he has dug up more stuff than a mortician. He is out here doing his stuff. Come on, come on! Come on, sir. Karch. And Stokos socks it over, but it's out of bounds, and Carson can't get another point. Great serve. Smith and Stokos giving it everything they can to keep the ball in play. But Steffes, who's been struggling the whole match, comes up with a big serve when he needs it. Talking about Sinjin Smith, 11 digs so far in this match. Smith and Stokos over there toweling off. Wouldn't be surprised to see them use a timeout after this. This is a ploy. If they can, they got very sandy on that play, so they're allowed to brush off. This is a change I would like to see. I'd like to see you, you, you're forced to call the timeout and then towel off during the timeout. But uh, the rules allow yeah. good gamesmanship on their part. Now let's see if Smith comes right back out and calls the timeout. Let's say no, they don't look like it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, probably in a pretty good rhythm. Maybe doesn't want to. Stokey going to clear out a hole on the way to the on the way to the net. On the way to the promised land. They need a side out. 51 seconds to play. Jenkins. Oh my gosh. Three plays in a row. And all of a sudden, Parch and Canner within one with 48 seconds. If we're tied at the end of regulation, it's sudden death. 15 seconds ago, Ken Steffes was having a horrible service match. Now he looks like a god. Kings trying to rebound here. Now you now you gotta you've got call timeout. Time gotta have yeah. a timeout. Gotta have the timeout here. Same toweling off. Players are just covered with sand, perspiration, in spite of the cool temperatures. And when you go down, it just sticks to you. Be very surprised. Well, looks like they're going to go. Okay, so the Kings say, let's play. Steffes. Come on, come on. Right to Stokos. Angle. Randy Steffes. Got to come back over. That's out. That's ooh. Smith plays it. 40 seconds to go. Cut. Steffes. 35 seconds. The tie. Steffes. No! Smith dug it. So close. 30 seconds. Draw. 26 seconds to go. It's in! athleticism by all four athletes the high loopy and Smith just lets it go and I haven't seen Karai that excited since we won the 84 Olympics or maybe he repeated in 1988 as he got out of going on outward bound there you go to Utah that's exactly right that may be the truest of true stories but it's a long one Smith still close take timeout 
51 seconds to go. They had a 14 to 11 lead. Now we are tied up. So a couple of aces. Let's go back to that rally. Was that one of the great rallies of all time? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe, but certainly one of the best of the summer. Here's midway through the rally, and the digging begins right here. Kent Steffes and Sinjin Smith has been reading him all afternoon. Does so again. Stokos unable to get good altitude on that, but look at Smith's shot. Gets Kirai down the line. Now here's the key. What's Smith reading? Right here, he stops short. Kirai goes over his head, and that falls in. That, that falls in by a foot and a half. We won the gold. We won the gold. Now oh, it's just a point card to tie at 14. So KK getting into it. We're tied at 14, 24 seconds to play. Miller Lite San Diego open up for grabs. And if the clock expires, you only have to be ahead by one. The game can end 15, 14. Still close on Smith. 21 Fight. seconds, still close. Oh, nothing with inside part. So they got it down. Still probably thinking, where did our lead go? Well, all they need right now with the situation with the time clock at 19 seconds is a one-point lead. You don't need to win by two as time expires. So Smith and Stoke was talking it over. What do we do? Who do we serve? I think they're going to step. 14-14. 19 seconds to go. They're going to Steffes. Tight, tight. Stokey, jamming. Watch it. 13 seconds to go. So close. Dinky, yes! Bad step by Karch Kirai. Not a perfect pass, but Karch set the ball too tight to the net. Forced the joust. 9.8 seconds to go. Smith and Stokos going to talk about it. Do we send up a sky ball? Karch and Kent have to side out quickly, get the serve, and then score a point to keep this final going. Smith and Stokos, one dig, might do it. And there it is. Shanks it out of bounds. Stokey with the ace. And that will do it. So the final is final. But can the Kings of the Beach win a double final? Don't go away. We're coming back. Chris Marlowe back with Paul Sunderland getting ready for our double final. Karch Garai, Kent Steffes, Sinjin Smith, and Randy Stoklos. Smith and Stoklos winning the final. 16 to 14 after being ahead 14 to 10 and shanking three or four balls out of bounds. Double final here in San Diego. Clock under four minutes. Smith? Yes. Sizzles one down the line under the pitch of Kent Stephens. Randy Stokos coming back to serve by the Pacific Palisades, California. So still close. Trying to find that husband and wife here. It looks like Karch and Ken are standing closer together. A little now. bit closer it. together, not leaving so much room deep middle. They like each other. Step in, got it through. Off speed tap. Side out. And a side out or possession. Now Step is going to move back to the right side. Just hit one out of bounds from the left. Let's see what he does here. That's good serve. Stokos handles it, though. Got a good set. And right to Steffes. He guessed correctly. Can he put it away? Not yet. Stokos. And Stokey can't put it away. Set was a little low. And Karch and Kent get the first side change and go over two to nothing. Changing sides, but no delay here. Play is continuous as in a tennis tiebreaker. The teams just change sides. And inside out, Smith so close. They've become the crowd favorites. Smith. Another dig by Steffes. He's open it up. And beating it down is Kent. Three to nothing. Steffes may not have played that well offensively at the beginning of this match, but he's playing some very, very good defense, something that, that is very overlooked in a 6-5 frame. You just don't expect him to be covering the court and controlling the ball so well. Getting some points on Smith now. Let's see if they go right back to him. Three to nothing. Steffes now with 12 yeah. digs. Smith with 12 digs. Another serve to Smith. 
Right there, and like that. Hard. Can't get that one. Nice cut. Stephen Stokers better get that 1-4 change or that 1-3 change. They're going to be in deep, deep trouble. Stokos waiting for the call. On the good side for one more score. And you're right, they do need the 1-3 side change with Karai and Stephas going back over to the good side. The key has been the defensive Smith. Stokos been blocking well. Stephas. Off Randy and into the open area. So a good side out for Karch and Kent. They'll have the ball leading three to nothing. Jirai setting the ball a little bit higher to Kent Steffes, giving him more time and also giving himself time to make the good direction call offensively. That time line or over still close. Good pop by Stokey. Touching it right through Kent once again. A little letdown for Smith and Stokos after winning that, uh, no, that, no. that Jazzy. No, Karai, Karai and Stephas have just been making the plays. The level of play has been very, very good. Uh, give Karai and Stephas their credit. I think Smith and Stokos hungry to win this game. Uh -huh. Got to try Karch for a few minutes here. And Karch does what he does best, buries it. So Karai gets a kill. And he'll stay at the net to block this time. 16-7-4 and a couple of spiker coverages that don't show up both teams taking the time now 3 to nothing. Karai and Steffes look at that gap nice pass Stokos puts it away with authority. It must hurt him every time Randy Stokos swings at the ball. He's got that uh, chronic shoulder problem, but it has not slowed him down. Three minutes and one second to play. Kent. And he tips it off. Stokos out of bounds. So Kenton Karch get the ball again. Steffes is now in a good passing groove. He's passing the ball better. He struggled for two-thirds of the first game to 15. Now he appears to be in a good groove. 25 kills. Ian Stokey battling. Oh! And Karch aces the line. Four to nothing. So KK with the eight. And it's four steps. Chris Marlowe back with Paul Sunderland. The Miller Lite San Diego Open. Cry and Steffes have opened it up 4 nothing here in the double final. Some other finishers, Adam Johnson and Ricky Ludes, their best finish of the summer so far. In fourth, Brent Prohoff and Mike Whitmarsh finish in fifth. The other team in fifth, I'll make that seventh, Larry Meir and Eric Wurtz. They were second a week ago. Mike Dodd, Tim Hovland, one of the finishing teams in ninth place. Also in ninth, Rudy Dvorak and Craig Moodhart. Troy Tanner, Dan Verbalovich. Tanner on the mend after spraining his ankle last week. Scott Akatubby, Tim Walmer in 13th. Ack and Walmer, Leif Hansen, Eric Boyle dropping to 13th this week after playing so well last week. Friedrichsen and Clark also in 13th. Smith and Jantz in 17th. That's Andrew. Doug Faust and Robert Chavez in 17th. And now back to the action. Smith and Stokos have to make something happen right now. Now, Karch and Kent have been known to give up the big lead. We've seen it a couple times this summer. Leading in the final 9-6. to six. They gave up a pile. Smith and Stokos came back. But right now, let's see what Smith and Stokos can do. They only have 2 minutes and 49 seconds to work their magic. Oh, very close. Long. Yeah. Going for the ace. There's 2 minutes 47 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time for Smith and Stokos to come back. Yes. Steffes. And he hits it out of bounds. So a couple of long jump serves. That's where you want to get it back in that deep quadrant of the court. Aces. Both teams a pretty good ratio. Yep. Not bad at all. Aces to errors, two to one, pretty good. good. 
Stephis bops it. Douglas, I don't think no, he can get no. there unless he can fly. He tries. He can fly. He got he up there. Has too much company over there. That's why they put up those banners around the courts these days is to try to discourage the players from leaping into the crowd. Where you get hurt on beach chairs and bottles and cans and TV cameras. Yes. The whole works. Karida serve, leading four to nothing. That's out. So jump serving is going down the two. I'll tell you, Karai and Stephens, though, both going for the kill right now. Both of them trying to serve aces to end this thing. They feel the momentum. They feel that they have Smith and Stoke close now, and they want to give them a kick. Smith and Stoke need a point. Smith, pretty good dig. Stoke close. Low set, but Smith does. Nice work for that baby. Lots of time. Smith and Stokelos are never going to go away. When you've got them down, you have to put them away. Well, Smith is looking for that line shot of Stephens. Yeah. He's leaning that way most of the time. Cut is wide open here. They'll go Karch. Come on, come on, Smith dug it, but it's going out of bounds. They give the kill to Karch. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go in this tournament. 4-1, Karch and Kent. Nobody in hole. Smith pounding on Karch. Karch will make that dig a lot of times. He retreats with his hands up. I'll tell you, Smith may have an injured quadricep on the right and a calf on the left, but there's nothing wrong with his shoulder. He is hitting the ball very, very hard right now. One serving four. 2.13 to go. Off Stoke Rolls goes Karch. Don't Karai and Stephas look much smoother siding out to you now than they did midway through the game to 15 in this final. They were scattergun all over the court receiving serve. Now they look very smooth. Ron Von Hagen used to call it a spell. I would get in a spell passing. Well, Karai and Stephas had a couple of those. So did Smith and Stoklos, but both teams even out here. Come on. That's Popping point. hard. Randy Stoklos. Let's update you on the Killaloo Kill Award right now. Stoklos now with 26 kills. Steffes with 27. It is battling it out for that $500. Neck and neck. Four to one, we dip under two minutes. Smith with it in. Stoklos turning. Karch turning. Big play. Karch! Steffes hits it into the net. Smith and Stoklos get another point. Right back in it. Now Smith and Stoklos are putting some pressure on Kirai and Steffes. Coming from another dig by Sinjin Smith. This is great play by Kirai and Steffes feeling confident. Going for the tough shot, hits it into the top of the tape. Moments ago, it was four zip. Now it is two serving four as Smith and Stoklos trying to come back. Steffes tapping and Smith can't get there. Leaving the line open that time. So side out to Steffes, doing a lot of work today. Okay, if we were to chart it, I think that Kent Steffes right now is hitting about 70% of his shots offensively down the line over Stoklos, and Smith is holding his ground, waiting cross court. And come on. Come. And it comes. And it comes in the hard variety off the bat of Stoklos. Great play. Smith covering himself. And Randy Stoklos taking advantage quickly. Karch with a good block. Just cannot block the ball down. And Stoklos going at Steffes. 4-2. Karine Steffes leading. Off. Smith could be there. He is. Trouble to Stokey. Oh, and they're going to call double contact. It popped off the net. And I think a good call by Greg Crown. Yeah, it wasn't a driven ball by Not a driven ball. Like. Once it hits the top of the tape, the rules change if the ball is substantially slowed, and it is clearly by this play. Karch is there, off the fist, up into the t-shirt, double contact, and a good call. 29 to play. The Kings are within one. Oh, and Smith wails one wide. Boy, it is a ball game all over again. Kirai and Steffes were in the lead 4-0. They went for a couple of aces. They missed them, and it gave Smith and Stoklos new life. A double final here on Prime Network. Brian Steffes, Smith, and Stoklos, the two power teams in volleyball. 
So close. And he pounds another one going high heat. And Steffes can't get that one. Steffes not feeling real good right now blocking against Randy Stokos. The only point scoring opportunities that Kirai and Steffes have had is when Karch, I think, has been blocking against Randy Stokos. 1.22 to play. 4-3, Karai and Steffes. Double final. Pretty good serve. Karch gobbled it up. Trouble. Stokos! Smith! And Stokey tries to chicken it. Steffes is there. Stokey block. Karch! What a turnaround. What an unbelievable play by Sinjin Smith. We're tied up and we're coming back. Four four minute nine to play. Karai Steffes Smith and Stokos. How do you get to be the king of the beast, the all-time winningest player? Watch Sinjin Smith on this play. Never give up. The ball is never down until it's in the sand. And Randy Stokos gets a tough break at the top of the tape, and everybody thinks it's down except for Sinjin Smith. Makes the great save, keeps the ball in play, and then Stoklos does the rest with the stuff block. That turns it around right there. Stokey knows who made the play possible. Sinjin Smith with a tremendous save that helped tie the score at 4-4 for the side change. The Kings of the Beach. Why are they the Kings of the Beach? Because they won the most tournaments last year and the year before and the year before. They've been in a slump. They're trying to come back. Only three out of the last 18 have they won. They haven't won since Phoenix over a month ago. And they're trying to, well, I guess it's an upset these days. They are trying to beat Karai and Steffen. A minute nine to play, tied at four. Stoklos with the serve. Playing to seven, double final if he just walked in. We're tied. When the clock runs out, we go to sudden death. Next point wins. Steffes, block! Five straight points for Smith and Stokeboat. Possibly the turning point of the summer. As Smith and Stokeboat try to grind their way back. They lead 5-4. Oh, and he serves it long. The adrenaline pumping through Stokeboat. He pecks up pumping his arms, a, a vein and strained He was, in fact, pumped up on that play. Got to get yourself under control. Take a deep breath. Minute three to play. Stephens. He'll try Smith. Smith. Stephens with a diving dig. Set is there. The tie. Yes. Five five. We're coming back. We're still tied with 53 seconds to play. Back at the Miller Lite San Diego Open. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland, Karai Steffes, Smith and Stoklos locked in a death struggle. A double final, 5-5, 53 and 7 tenths seconds left to go. Smith and Stoklos, we think, back on the good side. Smith, nobody up. He drills it at Karch. Set is the key. Smith digs Karch. Trying to save point here. Smith, no, not yet. Back to Stokey. Stokey. And he puts it away. All the breaks going the way of Kirai and Steffes early in the game to 15. But now Smith and Stoklos turning things around just a little bit. Kirai has stuck Smith over. twice in a row. Both balls have gone right back to Sinjin Smith. Easy plays to make. And then Stoklos with a nice shot over Kirai. Stoklos has been the more effective hitter for Smith Stoklos' team in this particular one. Stokey now going up to the net. 5-5, 38 and a half seconds to go. Karch, and Karch snaps it hard down the line, side out. This is the best final this summer by far. Fort Myers went to sudden death, but, uh, and Honolulu wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad either, but uh, this one right there. Smith taking his time. Of course, people only remember the endings. And yeah, Smith and Stoklos trying to win again. I'm just thinking there have been just so many spectacular plays in this final. Sinjin Smith with his defense. Randy Stoklos played extremely well. Karch has been solid throughout. Steph has struggled early, but kept his team in the match with his defense. Steph has positioned at the net. 33 seconds to play, 5-5. Easy serve to Stoklos. Right to Stokey. Hits it, blocked! 
Tepes. Gives Karai and Tepes point number six. Karai coming to the net to his young partner, demanding one more. What does Tepes do differently? He just gets up. Stokos hit that ball right into him. Kent really didn't move his hands all that much. Six to five. Karch and Kent. Not going for the ace. Still working on Stokey. Just got blocked. What will he do? He'll tap it down the line. And Smith Stokos fans come unglued. 22 and one-tenth of a second left to play on the clock. Smith and Stoklos need to tie it up if they can. Watch Stoklos go to Steffes or up the middle, try to create the husband and wife. And Stokey working on the line, saying, look, get it out of my way because I'm set for takeoff. Give me clearance. Sergeant Kent trying to prevent the husband and wife play. Stokey! And oh, this could be a point to tie it up. 18 seconds to play. Smith to tie. Tight set. Tight set. Smith got it! What a great serve by Randy Stokos. When you got to have it going hard cross court to Kira. 6-6, six, six, playing to seven, 11 seconds to go. San Diego Open, you see the time, 11.8 seconds. We're playing to seven, next point wins. Stoklo serving for the championship. 10 seconds to go. Steffes, blocked, Karai has it. Seven seconds to go. Karai puts it away. With four and a half seconds to play. I'll tell you, luck is having as much to do with who wins this championship as anything else. That's a championship stuff block by Randy Stoklos goes right to Karch Karai. As they say, luck is the residue of design. 6-6. Six, six. Time should run out. Karai and Stevis for the win. Stoklos has to side out for sudden death. Stoklos got it. Sudden death. No time on the clock. Next point wins no matter what. All right, we'll take a timeout. Stay with us. It's been great. It might even get better. Sudden death coming up. Karch Karai and Kent Steffes will serve. Smith and Stoklos will receive. 6-6 six, six is the score. Smith and Stoklos talking about it. I don't know why they're on that side. One they, did this, they did this at the beginning of the uh, game to seven. Karai and Steffes are serving from the good side. We think. Maybe there's something we don't know. Smith and Stoklos, Karai and Steffes. Next point wins. Tight set, tight set right off the bat, and Stoklos goes over the top. Beautiful shot. Smith and Stokos now trying to put one away. They haven't won since Phoenix. As Big Randy walks back up to the net. What a comeback this would be for the championship. Not a good pass. You know, Stephen puts it away. Clock is not a factor here except for a side change. Steffes to serve. We're in sudden death. Next point wins. Good. Smith digs it out. Bad play here. Steffes for the win. First chance to end it. And he does! What a great match. Arjun Kent, three in a row, but the Kings made him sweat for it. It was a thriller in Manila. I mean San Diego. 16-14 Smith and Stoklos, but then Karai and Steffes, 7-6. Karai and Steffes win their third.